Hi, my name is Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. This topic is how to stop accusing my wife of cheating. So it sounds like you're having difficulty with uh, being jealous and being suspicious. And it really boils down to a very simple, simply stated problem. And that is that you're not in control of your mind. We don't learn these things growing up, but they're critical. If we're not in charge of our mind, if we're not mastering our mind, I know this is a concept that is not, never even discussed, then we can't really be truly happy. And so what happens is the mind, you have to start seeing the mind differently than you see it now. By the way, if you're not a subscriber, become one because it'll make a difference to your marriage. Now, the mind is not you. You see, we talk about having a soul. Everyone uh, thinks, well, I have a soul, and my soul this, my soul that. But the truth is different. The truth is you are a soul, and this isn't a religious discussion. You are a soul. Pay attention, because this is important. You are a soul. You have a body. You don't say, I am my body. You don't think of your body as being you. You know if you lose an arm or a leg or something, you still are you. You're whole. If you lose your mind, you're still whole because you're not your mind. But we don't think that way. What happens is as a soul, you have this mind. It's, it's more than a computer. It does all kinds of things. It maintains your breathing, your blood, your everything, things that are invisible to you consciously, but it's still there. The trouble with the mind isn't the trouble with the mind, it's the trouble with us not taking control over it. So what happens is it has these automatic replays, automatic feedbacks, instincts and habits, and they're there to save time. But what we've done is we've turned our lives over to these habits, to these instincts, to these reactions. And the body is nothing but a bundle of trillions of individual cells. Each one of these cells, we know this, it's scientific, is governed by the drive to survive, by self-preservation. So what happens is it's intelligent, it's pinging the mind, and it's telling, watch out, she may be cheating on you. And what you're supposed to do when this happens is you're supposed to say, you're not supposed to reason it out. You're supposed to say, mind, shut up. And then what you do is you go to where you're supposed to be in your marriage, which is a place of love. You married your wife in order to love her, to adore her, to dedicate yourself to protecting her, sharing your lives together. But when your mind is telling you she may be cheating on you, you're not enjoying your marriage. And that lack of enjoyment is putting pressure on her and it becomes a never ending cycle of negativity. You see? So how do you stop? That's the question. How do you stop? Well, this helps. Recognizing what's going on helps. And then what you could do in full confidence now, knowing that it's your mind, knowing that you have the right and the obligation to decide what your thoughts will be, what your feelings will be. Now you will dictate to your mind, no, we're not going there, and here is where we are going, you see? So you do a switcheroo on your mind. Your mind is just a machine. It's gonna go where you tell it. Now it may need some time for it to get used to you taking charge. You're going to have to fight it. It's not going to just gently relax and say, okay, now you're in charge. It's about time, but that's what you do. The whole idea of marriage is love and happiness. That's what you feed into your marriage. That's what you feed over to your lovely wife. So I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. Thank you for stopping by. I hope this was helpful to you. By all means, subscribe. Learn more about marriage so you can get the full benefits.
God bless you. Take care.